Hey guys, welcome to another episode about SQLite. So for today we are going to discuss uh, one really serious subject. So we are going to talk about triggers. So what triggers uh, actually are? Uh, basically you could understand them as uh, functions uh, that are going to be uh, executed if something else happens. Uh, so how that actually works? It would be much better if I uh, start uh, on practical example uh, while I am explaining this. So if you want to create trigger, you are going to type command create trigger and uh, now you are going to provide trigger name. Let's say test trigger and now important thing you can execute your trigger before something happened, after something happened, uh, or uh, instead of something. So uh, next keyword is going to be before or after or instead of. So for this example, I am going to use let's say after so you could understand this keyword as a time constraint and now we are going to talk about functional constraint so next keyword is going to be insert or update or delete so uh, what is happening in here? Uh, so we are going to execute this trigger after after what? After something is uh, inserted, updated or deleted. So let's say that we are going to uh, execute our trigger after something is deleted. And now you are going to provide uh, destination or uh, better to say a reason why trigger is executed. What table needs to suffer some change in order for this trigger to be executed? So next keyword is going to be on and table name. Let's say item. Next keyword is completely optional. If you need to provide some condition that has to be fulfilled in order uh, for trigger to be executed, you are going to do that with when keyword. But as I said, this is completely optional. And now in order to provide statement that is going to be executed, if this trigger is activated, uh, you have to uh, type begin and after end you have to provide semicolon. And in between begin and end, we are going to provide statement or statements. Uh, and after every statement, we must provide semicolon in order for this code to work. And one other thing, you could provide statement like for each row right after a uh, destination table and before a uh, begin statement and what this piece of code actually means means that if uh, your uh, delete statement uh, affects a multiple row uh, this statement uh, in between begin and end is going to be executed for every row that is affected and now if all of this is clear, uh, I would like to do one practical example so you could see exactly how this works. And for that purpose, I would like to create uh, another table. Let's say I'm going to call it item history. And we are going to have ID, primary key, and item name, of course, text, not null, and that's all. Okay. And now I would like to uh, create a trigger that is going to be executed whenever we delete something from our item table. And whenever we delete something from our item table, uh, that item name is going to be uh, inserted into this item history table. So let's do it. 
first create trigger let's say test trigger so before delete so I want to make backup uh, before our actual data is deleted and that is going to be executed uh, on item table now we need this for each row because uh, with deletion we could actually delete uh, multiple rows all at once and now make some space begin and and semicolon and now in here i'm going to provide statement uh, that will be executed whenever we delete something from our item table so we are going to insert into item history and what we want to insert let's see item name and now uh, for uh, values i'm actually going to provide select statement let me show you i'm going to select item name from item where item id equals old item id and of course we have to provide semicolon at the end uh, so uh, some explanation is needed here first part of uh, this expression it's really simple we are just using our insert uh, into a statement to insert new values into uh, our item history table but this second part could be uh, a little bit confusing so uh, for values uh, this should be values part and for values i have provided result from this expression and what this expression actually is doing so we are selecting item name column from item table but condition it's confusing in here so uh, condition is that uh, item id must be equals to old item id what this actually means uh, old keyword uh, refers to uh, old values uh, from uh, our uh, table item so uh, values before deletion happens so in this case we are going to uh, insert into our item history table uh, those values that are marked for deletion just the moment before they are deleted and this uh, item id uh, equals to item id means that we are going to uh, insert only those data that are going to be deleted uh, so without this old keyword uh, we would actually copy uh, all of names uh, from our item table into our item history table and we don't want that and now i'm going to execute uh, this statement you see everything went well and in this trigger section we got actually our trigger you see and now what is left for us to test our code i'm going to write these changes and first i'm going to select all from item you see we got our result and now uh, i would like to uh, delete pork from this list let's see how that works item name equals pork and I will select uh, this table right away
So you see we have uh, this fork value deleted and now uh, final test. We are going to see what is inside our item history table. Luckily we are going to find pork. And I'm going to execute this and yeah we have pork in our item history table. So guys, as you see, triggers are not too complicated, but you need to play a little bit with them in order to master this entire subject. But when you do so, your mastery over SQLite is going to be much, much better. So guys, I honestly tried to explain this subject as best as I can. So if you like this content, uh, please subscribe and see ya.